Welcome back to Short Game Pros. I'm Coach AJ, and today we have some basic tips on green reading. This is especially good for beginners, but it's also good for anybody just looking for a good tip on reading greens. All right, we know that when we approach the green, there's so much information we could calculate, but for newer golfers or beginners, we wanna keep this very simple. So in today's tactic, we're gonna be looking at three different things, and all three of those are gonna help you quickly and easily calculate the break. These practices that I'm gonna show you today, it doesn't matter if you have a three footer, five footer, 10 footer, 20 footer, 50 footer. All right, the stuff that we're showing you today is helpful for any length of putt. All right, so what are we gonna be working on? We're gonna be looking on finding slopes because these slopes in green reading is what's gonna help you make more putts and more specifically, make less three putts. So to make less three putts, speed is our best friend. So speed is definitely more important than line when it comes to preventing three putts. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna determine the slopes at three different locations, and that is gonna help us stop three putting. All right, so how are we gonna look at these slopes and how are we gonna determine how much break? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at three different locations. All right, we're gonna look at the cup, we're gonna look halfway to the cup, and we're gonna look at our ball. And at each of these locations, we're gonna identify is the slope at that location moving uphill or downhill, so is it gonna be an uphill or downhill at that part of the putt? And then we're also gonna be looking at, is it left to right or right to left? Which way is the slope moving at that position? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these three locations. All right, so at the first location here where the ball is, it feels pretty flat left to right, so no adjustment for speed, but we do have a fair amount of break moving downhill, so I'm clearly sitting downhill of this golf ball, so we've got a putt that's moving left. All right, now let's go to the halfway location. All right, halfway to the hole. Again, it's feeling a little, uh, fairly flat, but we are feeling still the putt will be moving to the left, so I am downhill again of this line. All right, lastly, at the cup here, we have actually felt an uphill rise. So clearly moving back uphill at the end, and I'm still feeling that right to left. So what does that mean for us? That means the putt, right as it starts, it's gonna be moving left. Throughout the length of the putt, it's gonna be moving left. And then at the cup, it's gonna be moving left even more. All right? At this level, beginner level, we're not gonna to get too specific on an exact location on how far to the right to aim, but we need to know that the length of this putt, so for all 12 feet of this putt, this ball is gonna be moving left. So we need to aim pretty substantially out to the right. All right, we also know that at the end of this putt, it does go uphill. And at the end of the putt is when the ball is moving slowest. So we definitely need to give it a little extra to get it there. Okay, now it's time for me to roll this putt. So I'm gonna be aiming the putter face out to the right, like we talked about, and I'm gonna be giving it a little extra effort to make sure we get it there. Today, I know that after you're able to read the slopes at all three of those locations, you will not only make more putts, but stop making three putts. Thanks for watching Short Game Pros. See you guys next week.